So today's reading gave me the vibe that this is applying to relationships and self. So this applies to any Zodiac, anyone watching this, this is for you. You were drawn to this video for a reason. So please keep watching to find out what the tarot has to say to you. So the devil card is reversed and it's definitely more hopeful than if it was upright. Whatever decision you're facing, it's easier than you think it's going to be. The chains are loose around the neck when reversed. So this situation isn't that drastic. You need to make your move now. Now is the time to break whatever chain is holding you back. Um, I really feel like this is a toxic relationship. This could be drugs, alcohol, anything holding you back from your higher, greater good. Now with the lover's card reversed, definitely pointing to a relationship that is out of balance, relationship in crisis. There may be inequality, betrayal, even dishonesty. This card correlates highly, highly with the devil card in that lust and materialism addictions are present. And it's definitely contributing to the demise of this relationship. The Queen of Cups reversed is showing jealousy in a relationship. It also shows that someone in this relationship is being unfaithful. So definitely pointing to disharmony in this relationship. So the Magician card is showing me that now is the time to focus on yourself and what you truly desire. This is the ultimate manifestation card. Make the most of your skills. Leaving this relationship honestly is going to open more doors for you and it's going to be a significant journey. Like you have everything you need. Magic is on your side. This is a major card for like a new journey. So with the Ten of Cups being reversed, uh, this points to family and friend issues. Maybe someone untrustworthy is coming into the picture. These are temporary glitches. It's not major challenges. Just be aware of who you uh, trust when it comes to friends right now. Um, maybe being introduced to new friends. Be careful. The Empress Reversed is showing me financial issues and also disruptive influences at home. These stressors are liter could literally be impacting fertility if you're trying to conceive or figuratively in the sense of growing an idea. You just have a lot of stressors in your life and it's hard to really grow anything right now. So the death card, uh, it brings endings and beginnings, sometimes all at once. This is a time of deep transformation and letting go of what no longer serves you. It could be sudden and shocking, but you literally have no control over these changes. This is a major card, but this is going to be a huge blessing for you. Swift changes are going to bring new beginnings. With the Ten of Swords, this is a natural outcome of a bunch of events that leads to inevitable change. It really goes hand in hand with the death card, um, endings, transitions, and new beginnings, and you might have a dramatic ending to a relationship but with the knight of cups a new love interest is going to catch you off guard it could be an aquarius or pisces idealistic dreamy artistic and sensitive this could even lead to a proposal just be open to real love at the time like just really be open to it because you never know love comes when we least expect it so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and if it resonated with you please let me know in the comments below i love doing readings and hope to make more videos like this for you guys so make sure you leave a comment below letting me know if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video hi guys so i hope you enjoyed that little reading it's kind of new for my channel to be doing stuff like this but it's something i've been into for almost two years now i've been studying tarot and everything witchy and I just feel such a strong connection with witchcraft and nature and everything witchy. It's just something that I'm super connected to and passionate about. So I wanted to talk about my little business, Gothic Glam. I launched it almost a year ago and I kind of fell off the last couple months with promoting it and talking about it just because so much of my life was changing, pregnancy, um, going through the transition of not having a job, just a lot of different things. 
So I just wanted to share with you guys some of the products that I have um, and where uh, my small business kind of stands. So I make candles, I make bath salts, make room sprays, body sprays, and even body lotions. Um, and they all have magical properties. I put spells on every single one of my items, um, depending on like what it's for. So for instance, um, this candle is called Calm and it's just meant to, has like an amethyst stone, lavender. Um, it's just meant to calm you down and bring a lot of peace and, uh, you know, just a calm, it's just a calm feeling. The smell is just super calming too, um, and I'm obsessed. Like literally, it's probably one of my favorites. I have it actually burning right now on my um, altar. So Calm is pretty amazing for just taking stress and anxiety away. Um, the other one I have is Show Me The Money, and this one is just to honestly draw in money, manifest money. If you're kind of in a situation where you need money quick, definitely recommend burning this because this has worked for me in the past and it's worked for other people that have purchased it. Pull it off. This is definitely like one of my best sellers. It even has like a little $100 bill in there and some crystals on top. Um, I love the smell of this. It's just, it kind of reminds me of money. Like when you smell it, you're like, okay, prosperity, abundance. It's definitely one of my favorite creations. And all of my candles come with crystals in them um that's that and then show me the love this is another bestseller because everybody wants love and romance in their life and i swear this drew in my boyfriend oh i love it so it smells like roses honestly so there's rose petals on top rose quartz absolutely one of my favorites so it's that and then the other one we have is Midnight Lure, and this is definitely one of my favorites as well. This is like a very seductive candle. Oh, and it smells like fall. It smells exactly like fall, and we're getting into that fall season, so this is definitely like the perfect one for fall. But Midnight Lure is honestly meant to attract like sexual desire, and like if you're trying to seduce your man one night, definitely light this. This has all the magical properties for that. We also have bath salts. So this is show me the money. Again, if you take a bath with this, um, have like a little ritual bath, this will help you to attract money and this will help you to attract love. Show me the love, That's what these look like. Definitely great, great. Um, this is the Calm Body Lotion. I use this lotion all the time. I kid you not, it's super hydrating and moisturizing and it has lavender and ylang ylang in it just to very um much like calm you down and it's great to like the candle put the body lotion on and then we also have the body sprays and room sprays so right now all that i have but i have to make more is um show me the love and show me the money and these are really great sellers as well so i hope you guys check out my uh website gothic glam support a small business i'm going to be coming out with new products i'm working on you know curating some ideas and stuff so there's a huge sale going on a lot of the products that i have up what, what i just showed you guys um all those products are discounted because i need to make way for new inventory so once we get through that then i can launch my new products you know we're getting into spooky season this is um the best time to start coming up with some new stuff so yeah definitely check it out and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys did leave me a comment below let me know if the reading resonated with you um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did there'll be more videos like this to come so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys